Hi guys, it's Lisa, Joyfully Art. I'm gonna make another video today. Um, first off, I wanna show you my painting from my last video. Turned out really nice, I love the colors. Got some big cells, I did use silicone in this one. It was just a straight pour, so I really like how it turned out. All right, so we'll just get right into the next one. I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, first off, we're going to start off with some black. Been seeing a lot of people do um, some flowers. Half circle here and then swiped out. So I'm going to give it a try. Never did it before, but I'm going to try it. And you know my experiments. I usually don't turn out. So we'll just give this a try and see what happens. Not guaranteeing anything. My experiments usually don't go well. This will be the middle of the flower, I guess. Really bubbly because I just shook it up. I haven't used my black in a while. Okay. Oh, goodness. If we can get a halfway round. Round circle here, half round. <laughs> okay, there's that. And then I'm going to use, I'm gonna swipe out the color, so I have to have something to swipe them on. So I'm gonna use um, some titanium white back here. Has the under color. So I have something to swipe with. Just if I could get it to I don't have to have that much. close up here to the black without getting it all <clears throat> without getting it combined. Don't want black streaks in my background. It's time to come out a little bit. Get back there. Okay. I think I'll worry about my sides after the fact. After I get done doing this. Now, I have my colors that I'm gonna put down. Have some blue, aquamarine blue, I think it is. Like that. Primary yellow. Oops. I 
and oh, get it out there. Chili powder. And some primary magenta. going to be it. And I have my favorite little swiping tool right here. And I have a rag. So you want to clean off your swiping tool after every swipe. Oh, I'm getting some black in there and I don't really want to, but Being left-handed is kind of hard sometimes. Trying to get in between things and getting it the right direction. All right. that at all. Some of them got down to the canvas a little bit too much, so to redo them and do it with a lighter touch. Sometimes I have a heavy hand. this turned out pretty good actually uh, I want the petals all up next to the flower don't want any canvas showing <clears throat> I did it again, didn't I? Goodness. Well, I really like that. I think it looks pretty good. I want to put some like flower dots in there or seeds. Um, I want to use yellow. So what I will do is I'm going to put a puddle of yellow right there and have a little bamboo stick. I'll dip it in there and then just like it seeds in the middle of the flower.
I don't know if I told you, this is a 14 by 14 canvas that I'm working on today. Whoops. You can always just fill that back in. And I might have to come back and fill these in because they might sink a little bit in the black paint. But I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a torch. I can get my torch to work. There we go. Rid of any air bubbles that we might have. There we are. Okay, I'll go back in and fill in the edges afterwards. But here's a close up for you. I think it looks pretty nice. I love it. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. If you have anything you want to ask, or I do do, I do commissions. So um, I think I could still get it to you by Christmas. And I'm doing free shipping until Christmas. So if there's anything you see on my Etsy shop that you want to do for Christmas, please let me know and I'll try my best to get it out for you. And um, it, uh, I'll do the gift wrapping for you and get it out for you so that they can have it before Christmas under their tree. And that's about it for today. And as always, please have a great day.